Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and this is another WordPress Wednesday. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like all things WordPress because I have over 400 videos living here on my channel to help you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. All right, today's video, in just these next few minutes, I'm gonna show you two different ways to create either the featured image thumbnail inside of your posts or pages with a plugin, a suggested plugin, or another way is by copying and pasting some code into your functions file. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step right now. So this is the area I'm talking about. How nice would it be to have a column right here that showed you that every single one of these posts had a featured image? You can also do this on pages. As a matter of fact, back in 2018, I did this video. The, uh, you know, great ratings. It, it's, uh, as of today, it's been tested, so be sure if but that is featured image column. And if we look at that one, unfortunately, this is the scary part about working with plugins. This one hasn't been updated for the last three major releases of WordPress. It's been three years ago since it's been updated. So I really probably wouldn't trust this one, even though it might actually still work. This is another solution if you just again wanted to use a plugin featured image admin thumb. This does the exact same thing, has 20,000 plus installs and just about a year ago was updated. So this one looks like it could be compatible with today's version of WordPress, but I'm gonna show you today how to do this inside of a child theme so that you don't have to worry about anything going out of date. This is gonna work for you. code that you're going to be using. This is just going to be a copy and paste. Don't worry about trying to read it. It's okay. All we're going to do is grab a little bit of code. We're going to copy all this onto your clipboard and we're going to go over into your functions file. Time out. You've absolutely got to have a backup of your WordPress website running right now. If you do not, I highly recommend you pausing this video, going and making certain that you have a backup in place because we're going to go tinker a little bit inside of some code and have some fun. Okay, so jumping into your dashboard, you're gonna go over to appearance and go to theme editor. Remember, you're supposed to have a backup in place, right? You should also more than likely have a child theme in place because we're gonna go tinker inside of your functions file. I know, sounds like a lot, but if you wanna do this in a simple way, of course you can go through the plugin. But truthfully, if you just copy and paste this code into your functions file right now, and the day comes that Divi needs an update or perhaps the other theme that you're using needs an update, you'll overwrite this. So let's do best practices, create a child theme. If you're using Divi, I'll put a link below to a simple tutorial that teaches you how to do that. If you're using other themes, I have other tutorials again in the description box below so you can go check those out. Uh, for the sake of now, I am going to tinker in throwing this directly into my functions file. Let's go do it. So functions.php is where you want to be. This file is the file that actually makes your entire WordPress website function. So you wanna be very careful inside of here. You're gonna go all the way down to the very, very bottom where you can't scroll anymore. And we want to copy the code that I gave you here, right? We're gonna grab all of this and put it on our clipboard. Copy that and come back over to our functions file and paste it in. You wanna be sure to not have any space here, so you wanna arrow back up, just be sure there's no space after the fact. And looks good. And of course, if you have a backup running, all of this should work perfectly. Let's go ahead and do update file. File updated successfully, excellent. And now if we go over to our post area, we should see then our beautiful column with all of our beautiful images. Look at that, you guys. How great is that? Super easy fix for us. And as long as you're using that child theme, it's going to be there every time without fail that you update. Kind of nice, right? I love it when something works like this. Sometimes it gets a little scary diving into PHP, which I only know how to spell. I don't know how to write it. So the code that I have, I give to thee. I will put it in the thread below, click on the link, jump over to my blog, and I'll have it there for you that you can just copy and paste right in. I hope this helps you. I hope you're having a great WordPress Wednesday. I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.